The video that was posted to describe how to translate DMs into TINs that you'll use to create boundary conditions um, from streams was based on version 8.2 in GMS. The current version that we have installed is version 9.1 and software like GMS is continuously upgraded and in this process some of the details are changed. So one thing you can do is go to uh, the learning resources that are provided by the software and in this case this screen comes up when you start GMS so you could go here and that will allow you to access some of the material that GMS has to uh, learn how they're uh, doing various things. So this is where you go when you click that button and you can see there are a variety of topics. What we're interested in uh, right now is uh, in the category of GIS. We want to import online maps and we want to deal with rasters. Um, DM, uh, a digital elevation map, is one uh, type of raster file. So one thing I would recommend doing is going and checking out these files and take a look and see how uh, the people at Aquavio recommend that you do these operations. What I'm going to show you now is how to import the uh, DM files uh, in order to get started with this exercise. So this is basically the same operations that are described in the previous file but we'll do it for uh, GMS uh, version 9.1. So the first thing we want to do is select the area and go to the map locator. So we can do that by pressing uh, that button and this allows us to find the place that we're interested in. Uh, there's Clemson. We can um, use this area. Maybe we'll zoom in a little bit more and we'll hit OK. And now we go here to the Add Online Maps capability and that'll allow us to select the particular type of data that we want to import. So the first thing we want is the digital elevation map. So we'll just select that. And what's going to happen now if everything is set up and working correctly is the GMS goes out through an internet connection and finds this data, uh, brings it in, and then downloads it. And this takes a bit of time. So you should see this pop up and the uh, word processing here um, should appear as GMS goes and finds these data. So depending on the size of the area and the resolution, this could take various amounts of time. Here is the result that we have for our search. This is the Clemson area and you can see right here this blue area that's the Clemson bottoms. So we're a little bit south of campus. Um, campus is, is right in here and the this area south of campus is the area that we're interested in for the exercise. So in order to use this we need to create a tin file and that's done as follows. So right click on this um, entry and we need to change the file type. So we're going to export this DM and um, I would I would suggest that we just use the base resolution and the resampling ratio is one. Okay that'll give us a file size that's uh, this big, 1638 by 864. So we'll go ahead and do that. The, this is the resolution of the cell size, uh, 4 meters, so that, that'll be fine for what we're doing now. So we hit OK, and it's going to create a TIFF file. And what I would do is, uh, rather than going strictly with the default, um, I would uh, write in here uh, something that gives you a little bit of an identification. So the Clemson um, NED file. Okay, so it does a bit of processing and creates this file. You can see it's right there. So this is a TIFF file and it looks basically the same, but what it'll allow us to do is to interpolate 
uh, or actually convert to a 2D scatter plot uh, or 2D scatter file. So this gives us a set of points uh, that we'll use in our processing. Uh, so we go ahead and do that and here's the converted file, the scattered data and then we'll go and right click on that and we need to convert it again. This will, uh, we will convert to a tin and we just go ahead and accept the default settings here and hit OK and this gives us the tin file that we'll use for uh, doing the rest of the exercise that's described in the previous video. Okay so this brings us up to speed with uh, the various changes that have been made uh, in version 9.1 compared to 8.2 that's shown originally. So from here on you can just go ahead and follow the rest of the video. What I'll just show you though is how to make this file look instead of completely black. Uh, let's take let, let's let's do some quick adjustments here so we can see this tin file. So uh, go to tin data and the reason it's black is because we have uh, edges turned on. The edges the, the the triangles are quite closely spaced. So when the edges are turned on, all we see is the edges. So we turn all that stuff off. We go to contours and uh, let's go and use the color fill linear contours. This should show up pretty nicely. Okay, so here's a nice color filled contour map and um, we can do various things with this including looking at it in perspective to show up the topography and I would give it a little bit of vertical exaggeration if we want to try to visualize the topography here um, and so there's there are the bottoms and this is the topography around campus and we might just add in a little bit of lighting here to make it look a little bit better shows up the topography so let's try that setting and maybe spin it around so there we go um, and so with this file and, and the rendering you should be good to go to work out the rest of the exercise.